So here's a quick rotation test between right helical and left helical, shot out of a left-handed Matthews bow. <clears throat> all of the arrows have the spine up, that's the label for the spine, and they're all knocked exactly the same. And from right to left, we have a right helical, bear shaft, and the left helical. Um, the bow naturally rotates to the left, so we have the bear shaft that, I don't know if you can see it, but the label's here. Uh, not quite a quarter revolution, um, but that's the rotation here. The smaller four-fletch, um, and again, people hit with a lot of helical, which should impart a lot of spin, has kind of barely rotated at pass center. The larger veins, which this is typically what I shoot for my fixed broadheads, um, it's rotated about a quarter in the other direction. Going to the large, um, again, these are hunting arrows, right? I'm not a target guy, but I'm just kind of showing you what I get. This one has rotated all the way around and almost three quarters of a, of a revolution. So quite a bit more left. And then the um, four fletch here, the smaller uh, 2.25 veins, uh, basically just rotated a little um, more than the bear shaft. Uh, I can't get it to focus, but you can see the label here. Hardly anymore, maybe 16th of a turn. Um, so again, the left-handed bow, gas bow strings, naturally still rotates to the left. And um, again, these are fletched up with quite a bit of helical, both right and left. Uh, I can't tell the difference in accuracy, but take it for what you will. I shoot the direction of my single bevel broadheads because they twist when they hit the animal. Um, <clears throat> and then you can't tell how the targets, how they're lined up by how they're actually hitting because my target's wiped out. It's like a couple years old. And uh, I just have the one face, the whole backside is shot out. 